If you're anything like me, then you're a filmmaker trying to create compelling stories and awake certain emotions in your audience. Now that is all well and good, but you still want your films to look up to par and to have a certain tone and feel to them. However, I recognize that I, I'm not a colorist, nor do I possess the skills or the knowledge of one. And to be frank, I don't want to either. I don't want to trade what I'm trying to do with storytelling in favor of color grading. Luckily for you, I've already spent the time, I've put in the effort, there's been a lot of trial and error to develop this no tree structure that will allow you to create any look imaginable in a matter of seconds. And yes, it is also super simple for non-colorist people like you and me to get around this no tree structure. I will also include a download link in the description where you can get a power grade which contains this no tree. Uh, which will just save you some time, but I recommend watching the video anyway as I will go through node by node and explain why they're set up as they are uh, Also how to use them and come with some tips along the way for different kind of looks So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into resolve and I'll start showing you the uh, the structure all right, so here we are in Resolve, and this is the structure, the general structure that we're gonna be following today. But before we go ahead and set this up together, I just wanna show you how powerful this is. So as you can tell, this is quite a filmic grade. Uh, there's uh, quite a bit of halation, uh, noise, some really nice colors. Let's say I wanted to turn this into more of a clean, a commercial, a clinical look. How much work is that gonna take? Well, let's see. So let's disable these. Take on sharpness, uh, change the LUT out for the film look. And we're gonna set the density just a tiny bit lower, like such. Uh, just up the exposure a bit. There we are. That wasn't hard. So now it's more uh, commercial, clean, sharp, and uh, pretty easy. So the very first node that we're going to have is a noise reduction node. So I'm just going to call it NR for noise reduction. And if your clip is especially noisy or grainy, uh, you just come into this tab right here and you set up the correct settings for you. The next node is going to be our exposure node, obviously to adjust your exposure uh, to make it just right. The next one, white balance. So we're going to label it WB. And we're not gonna be using the typical temperature tint sliders here. Uh, I found a much better way to adjust your white balance using chromatic adaptation. So drag the effect on and then set the source to color temperature and the target to color temperature. Now to adjust this, simply adjust the source values of the Kelvin and the tint and it's gonna be a much more accurate way of adjusting your white balance. And if you're especially lucky, then you know what settings your camera had as you shot it, and you also know the temperature of the light, so you can actually go scientifically and correct it. I don't know this, so I'm just gonna take it as my eyes tell me to. The next node is going to be our color node. So this is to adjust uh, hue, saturation, just any color adjustment that you want to do uh, to correct your footage. So let's say you have some skin tones that doesn't look really good. You can come into the hue, uh, saturation, luminance and adjust whatever you need to. The next node is going to be a local node. Uh, by that I mean like masking, qualifiers, uh, all of that kind of jazz that you typically want to do to just like brighten up or, or soften or yeah, do whatever um, of local adjustments. And now typically I do more than one when I do local adjustments. So we're just going to add a couple of uh, parallel nodes to that. And that completes our first row of nodes. So let's uh, come down to this row now and we're going to label this CST for color space transform. Now this obviously depends on what kind of camera you shot this on and uh, the type of profile you used. I shot it on a Blackmagic 
So I'm gonna just set that in here, but if you shot it on a Sony, you set it to Sony. The important part is that we set our output color space to Rec 709 and our output gamma to gamma 2.4. The next one is going to be our LUT node. So if you are going to use a LUT, this is where you would apply it. The next one, I'm gonna make two ones because this is to set up the film look. Now, if you didn't know, DaVinci uh, also has uh, some film looks. You can uh, click on LUTs and come to film looks and you'll see that there is a, a selection of different looks. We want to use the Rec 709 ones and on the second node that we just created, you can apply whichever one you want. I typically do the Kodak 2383 D60. Uh, as you can see, once we apply it, everything goes crazy. There is way too much contrast, way too much everything. So how do we fix this? Well, this LUT is designed to accept Cineon footage. We don't have Cineon footage, so we need to convert our footage into Cineon. How do we do that? On this node, we're gonna apply another color space transform, and we're gonna use the input settings from our previous output settings, if that makes sense. So in this case, Rec 709, Gamma 2.4, and then on the output, Rec 709, and Cineon. And there we have it, so that's corrected. Now to make this much easier and uh, especially easy to uh, adjust the strength, we're gonna highlight both of these, right click, come to create compound node. Then we label this film look. Now, if you want to increase or decrease the strength, you can do that. And it, it just works cohesively. So both of the nodes go together. Um, anyway, moving on to the next one. This is our density. Oh, then city. Uh, and this is just such a cool way of adjusting saturation. It really does more than just saturation. It just kind of creates this depth in the colors that I just, I love it. So how to set it up? Let's right click on the node, come down to color space and we select HSV. That stands for hue saturation value. Now we just want the saturation, so we're gonna come down to channels and we're gonna uncheck channel one and channel three. So that's, well now we just have the saturation part. If we come over to our primary color wheels, we can now adjust the saturation using the gain and the gamma. And you'll see how it works. It's just super nice. So the next node that we're gonna add is a look adjustment. This is really just to do some minor adjustments on the look, meaning like contrast, uh, exposure, uh, saturation, uh, hues, whatever. Just do those tweaks on this one. Now let's add another node and move it down to the final row. This is going to be our blur node. So label it blur. And this is really just if you're going for uh, more of a filmic look, it kind of takes the edge off the digital sharpness or whatever. So to, to set this up, we're gonna add a film damage. Now we need to uncheck uh, scratches. So just remove that. And then set the dirt all the way down, both the density and the size. And then we're gonna put temperature shift to zero and tint shift to zero. And then adjust the film blur to whatever you want. I typically go for 0 0.05. Uh, if we zoom in, you can have a look. I'll toggle it on and off. It just kind of soften up the, the, the sharp edges, uh, let's say. And it looks really nice. Also, you need to remove the focal factor and the geometry factor of the blur node. Otherwise, you'll have this vignette, which is not that nice. Uh, next up, we're gonna add another node. We're gonna call this sharp. So if you're on the contrary, going for more of a clinical clean look, this is where you're gonna be 
achieving that more so than the blur. So to set this up, I'm gonna disable blur, come into the sharpen one, uh, zoom quite a bit in on some detail, come over to this uh, blur sharpen window and drop the radius by a couple of percent. And you can see that's just like really getting the, the details out uh, if you're going for more of a, a commercial clinical look. Uh, I'm gonna disable sharpen and enable blur once again because we're going for uh, more of a film look this time around. Add another node, this is our glow node. So I'm gonna apply a glow and then we're gonna change the composite type from add to screen. And then we can uh, play around with the threshold, spread and the gain uh, to get it where we want. I'm gonna just leave it for now and I will come back to it later. Next up, we're gonna add a halation node. And instead of using the halation effect, I much prefer to use the film look creator. I think it, um, I think it does a better job at halation than the halation effect. So we're gonna choose clean slate and I will just disable everything. Come down to halation and enable halation. Easy as that. And then we can adjust the amount, uh, saturation, hue, whatever you want. Now let's add the final node and that's gonna be our film grain. So here again, you, you're free to choose whatever type you want. I typically go 35, 200T, I think it looks uh, really nice. You could go uh, 16 if you want some more crunch. Um, doesn't really matter, just do whatever you want and label it grain. So there we have it. Now we have the general structure. Uh, if we were to grade using this now, I would come into exposure and then I would drop the exposure quite a bit to, yeah, let's say there. Uh, come into the white balance, I would increase it a little bit to get some more warm into the image. Uh, color is looking quite good. Uh, I don't need to do any local adjustments here. I will come into the density and I will play around with this a bit. Uh, decrease the gamma a bit. Uh, I don't need any look adjustments for now. I will come into my glow. Uh, we can increase this ever so slightly. Uh, and for this one, I'm gonna go 16 actually. And as you can see, we have created uh, a pretty nice filmic look on this image. We could actually come into the look adjustment and just add a tiny bit of contrast in the curves here. Uh, and that's a pretty nice looking image. Now to go from this to more of a clinical, clean, stylized image, I would just disable these, enable sharpen, disable film look, come into my LUT and just apply any old LUT that I want. I'll use the uh, Amber X in this case. Uh, come up to exposure and just correct it for the new settings. And then I will go to look adjustment and I will just drop the whites uh, ever so slightly and bring this up ever so slightly. And there we have it. Now that's uh, more of a, a commercial clean uh, not so much uh, stylized look. If we were to play around with some other footage, uh, this one, for instance, uh, I can apply, like I said, there will be a download link in the description for this, but you can just uh, go into power grade, apply this, and you have the structure straight away. All you need to do is come into CST and put in your camera. In my case, that will be the uh, Blackmagic. And then I will uh, do as I showed you already. So density, I'm gonna increase that a little bit. We're going for uh, more of a film look here now. Uh, enable the film. I will bring the exposure. No, actually exposure is good. Uh, we can make the glow come out a bit more. Actually, we can also use our local adjustment to do that. So I'll add a mask, uh, which uh, highlights the sky and I will bring the exposure of the sky up a bit to soften it up with the glow. We could also do the same thing for the, uh, for the ocean. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll come back in here, 
apply this, rotate it around, place it here. And I will come into my HDR and bring up the uh, shadows a tiny bit. And then my look adjustment, I will want to just correct a little bit with that. Uh, and that's a pretty nice look. I think um, pretty, pretty cool film look right there. Now, again, if I wanted to go more clinical, I could do that. Just disable these, enable, sharpen, disable film look, come into the LUT. And in this case, let's go ahead and choose, um, I don't even know. Let's do cashmere, century, yeah, that'll do. Uh, adjust the exposure accordingly, uh, I will add a bit more contrast on the look here and then yeah there we have it that's now actually also I'll drop the density for this one to just make it that much cleaner um, there we have it so that's now more of a clean look you know uh, and and so it goes you can uh, you can do this with uh, with pretty much all types of of clips um, you can create just about any look that you want um, and it's just, it's super nice. I, I find it super intuitive to, to work this way. Uh, and it's just, um, it's, it's honestly just fun to grade using this because you can just create so many cool things uh, in very little time. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure to, to work on this and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Like I said, there will be a download link in the description uh, where you can get this uh, power grade. So you just apply that and you have the structure ready to go. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see any other tutorials, uh, let me know and I'll try to do it. So thanks for watching and uh, take care.